be willing to be that discipline, be that extreme in your discipline. Because that's what all this is. I don't care what anybody tells you, what they have, it's this, it's that. I don't care. It all boils down to, are you willing to be disciplined, to create the habits, and to see the steps all the way through to get there? Because where people cripple, where people fall, is that discipline starts getting weaker and weaker. Setbacks happen. It's taking too long. It's not coming on their own time. And what happens? They start slipping just a little bit. It might be a day, it might be an hour, it might be a couple of minutes, but it becomes a compounding effect. I told you in every video, my superpower was what? I will out discipline anybody. I don't use the term outwork, I'll out discipline because I'm willing to stay diligent to do the work. People can do the work, but are you or can you, are you willing to stay that extreme where we'll just take this freaking gym? We'll take jujitsu. You gotta suck for a while. It doesn't get easier for a while. And even as you start getting better, what happens? People that you are coming up with, they're getting better too. And they're putting it on you just a little bit more. But are you willing to stay the course? That's why most people quit at Blue Belt when it comes to jujitsu. Most people cannot keep their workout program in here. Most people never see the plan all the way through. Why? Because it's discipline, guys. I keep telling you that. Commit to no one else but yourself. Keep the promise to yourself. Keep the promise to yourself. Let's get it. So whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you want to achieve, listen, I believe. I believe you can do it. I want you to do it. But, but, what, but, if you say that, are your actions, are your habits, is your discipline aligned with that said goal? When someone comes to me and say, hey, I want to do A, B, and C. Okay, no problem. When you tell me that, and I know what it entails to get to that goal, to get to that level, if that's the case, I am going to expect you to be doing it. Well, actually, I expected you to want to do it way more and have more intensity than I'm giving you. Because if I'm more intense about it, about your goal and your aspirations, then you definitely don't want it bad enough. I should not want it more than you, ever. So when you come to me and tell me, and I'm using this as an example, because I want you to look at it upon yourself. When you say, hey, I wanna do this, I wanna accomplish this, I wanna to get to this level, are your actions aligned with that? Is your discipline aligned with that? Are you truly, truly, truly willing to take the steps, take the sacrifice, do what is necessary? Be a little bit selfish at times. Be a, a little bit stingy at times. Be a little bit cold at times because you have to be focused and diligent on the goal. And if you can't say yes, if you're stuttering, when you ask yourself those questions, then no, you don't want it. You don't want it. You come to me, anyone. Because if I come to someone and say, hey, I'm interested in doing this, and they're taking their time out to help me get there, I have to be more relentless than them because it's my goal, it's not theirs. So think about that. Is your discipline aligned? Alignment, alignment, alignment. And then your self-worth. That's another, that's another big one. Your self-worth. Is your self-worth aligned with what you're trying to do? Because you're going to have to have that utmost confidence in, in yourself. You're going to have to have a belief that is that of like a megalomaniac. It has to be a bit delusional. It has to be a bit over the top. Because you're going to have those days where you want to throw the hands up. You're going to have those days where it seems like everybody doesn't believe. But then all you need is you. All you need is your belief. All you need is your words of encouragement to say, okay, but I'm going to keep going.